Formula One, commonly known as F1, is one of the most popular forms of motorsport in the world. It's a high-speed, high-tech, and high-stakes racing series that attracts millions of fans from all over the globe. In this video, we're going to give you a quick rundown of how Formula One originated and what Formula One is all about, so stay tuned till the end. The origins of Formula One can be traced back to the early 20th century when motor racing was becoming increasingly popular across Europe. In the 1920s and 1930s, Grand Prix racing was the pinnacle of motorsport. These races were held on public roads and were known for their long distances and challenging courses. The first ever World Championship Grand Prix was held in 1948 at Silverstone, UK. The championship was established by the FIA or Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile, which is the governing body for motorsport worldwide. In recent years, Formula One has continued to evolve with a focus on safety, sustainability, and technology technological innovation. The sport has also become more accessible to fans, with live streaming and social media bringing the action closer to viewers around the world. Formula One is a global motorsport championship that consists of a series of races held throughout the year. The championship is contested by a group of teams, each of which consists of two drivers. The drivers compete in a series of races, accumulating points based on their finishing position in each race. The team and driver with the most points at the end of the season is crowned the world champion. Talking about cars, Formula One cars are some of the most advanced racing machines in the world. They're designed to go incredibly fast, with top speeds of over 200 miles per hour. The cars are powered by V6 turbocharged engines, which produce over 1,000 horsepower. They're made of lightweight materials like carbon fiber and are designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, with wings and other features that help them generate downforce and stick to the track. The drivers in Formula One are some of the best in the world. They have to be incredibly skilled to handle the high speeds and intense competition. They're also incredibly fit, as they have to endure high G-forces and extreme temperatures during a race. Each driver is assigned a number and has their own unique helmet design, which makes them easy to identify on the track. The teams in Formula One are responsible for designing and building the cars, as well as managing the drivers and their strategies during a race. They're made up of engineers, mechanics, and other specialists who work together to get the most out of the car and the driver. Each team has its own unique personality and approach to racing, which makes Formula One a truly exciting and unpredictable sport. Also, each team has their own unique livery which doesn't change throughout the year apart from some special races, such as Scuderia Ferrari with their iconic all-red car or Red Bull racing with the bull on the back of the car. Formula One races take place on a variety of different tracks, ranging from high-speed tracks like Monza to twisty street circuits of Monaco. The tracks are designed to challenge the drivers and showcase the capabilities of the cars. Each track has its own unique features, such as elevation changes, tight corners, or long straights. The races themselves are typically around 300 kilometers in length and last for around two hours. Formula One can be a dangerous sport, as the high speeds and tight racing can lead to accidents. However, safety is a top priority for the sport, and there have been many improvements over the years to make it as safe as possible for the drivers. Each car is equipped with a variety of safety features, such as halos, seat belts, and helmets, to protect the driver in case of a crash. In Formula One, each race weekend typically lasts for three days, starting on Friday and ending on Sunday. The weekend is divided into several different sessions, each with its own purpose. On Friday, there are two practice sessions also called FP1 and FP2, where the drivers and teams get a chance to test the cars and the track. These sessions are important for gathering data and setting up the car for the rest of the weekend. The drivers also get a chance to learn the track and get a feel for the car's performance. On Saturday, there's a third practice session known as FP3, followed by the all-important qualifying session. This session determines the starting grid for the race on Sunday. In qualifying, each driver gets a set amount of time to set their fastest lap. Qualifying is divided into three parts, Q1, Q2, and Q3. In Q1, the slowest five drivers of the 20 gets eliminated and rest moves on to Q2. The same repeats and another slowest five drivers gets knocked out and the rest take part in Q3. In Q3, the top 10 drivers set their fastest time to set the grid for the race. The fastest driver earns the pole position, which is the first spot on the starting grid. The rest of the drivers are arranged based on their fastest lap times. On Sunday, it's race day. The driver 
drivers compete in a race that lasts for around 300 kilometers or two hours, whichever comes first. The winner is the first driver to cross the finish line. There are typically around 20 drivers on the grid, all competing for the top spot. In 2023, Formula One introduced a brand new format for the race weekends called the Sprint Race. This format is designed to provide fans with more excitement and unpredictability throughout the weekend. There are a total of six races where sprint format will be used in 2023 season with the latest being the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The sprint race will take place on Saturday. The format for the sprint race is a 100 kilometer race or around 30 minutes with no mandatory pit stops. The sprint race will award points to the top eight finishers with eight points for first place, seven points for second place, and so on with one point for eighth place. The points earned from the sprint race will be added to the driver's total points for the season. The the starting grid for the sprint race will be determined by a short qualifying session, which will take place on the same day. The qualifying or sprint shootout as it called is also divided into three parts like a normal qualifying session, but with the catch that the sessions are shorter than usual. The results of the sprint race now no longer affect the main race in any way as it used to in 2022. You can consider the sprint race as a mini race itself before the main race on Sunday. The sprint race format is expected to bring more excitement and unpredictability to the race race weekend, with drivers pushing harder than ever before to secure some points for the championship battle, where every point counts. In Formula One, points are awarded to the top 10 finishers in each race. The winner gets 25 points, the runner-up gets 18 points, and the third-place driver gets 15 points. The points decrease incrementally from there, with the 10th-place driver getting one point. If a driver sets the fastest lap in the race and finishes in the top 10, they get an additional point. The championship battle in Formula One is a season-long affair. The driver with the most points at the end of the season is crowned the world champion. There are also separate championships for the teams, based on the combined points of their two drivers. Now, as a newbie to the world of Formula One, you might be wondering which drivers are must to look out for during a race weekend. Don't worry, we got you. In the 2023 season, there are many drivers that you should be rooting for. To begin with, Lewis Hamilton is one of the legends of the sport. Having won seven F1 World Championships, he is the only driver to match the record of Michael Schumacher. He is surely someone who you might fancy. If we talk about Hamilton, how can we forget his arch nemesis, Max Verstappen. Verstappen is the reigning world champion in Formula One. He is one of the fastest drivers on the current grid and one you should surely look out for in every race. Fernando Alonso, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez and George Russell are some of the other drivers that are in the championship battle this season. With everyone trying to step on the podium every race weekend, this just makes Formula One more thrilling and exciting to watch, with battles both on and off the track. Throughout the season, the drivers and teams are constantly battling for points, with each race offering an opportunity to gain an advantage. A championship battle can be intense, with drivers pushing themselves and their cars to the limit in the pursuit of victory. So, that's how Formula One works, how points are awarded, and how the championship battle plays out. It's an exciting and unpredictable sport, with no shortage of drama and excitement. Now if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel to know more about F1 and the drivers. See you in the next video.